there's a lot happening on the trade show floor, and that's where we once again find Russell Nemitz. Well, thank you so much, Kevin. And you know what? One of the highlights here at the annual convention and NCBA trade show each and every year is the Cattlemen's College. And with us today is one of the presenters, at least during the live demonstration part of this year's Cattlemen's College here in San Diego, Dave Daly, a cattleman himself from right here in California. This year's topic out here, Dave, was whole herd makeover cowboy style perfect topic for this group. What were some of the issues you covered? It was a really diverse group. We had four really good panelists from across the country and we looked at all these challenges that we're faced with. You know, cow numbers are down significantly from where they've been. And there were, the discussion was if, if we're going to expand this thing, how do we expand the business? You know, where do we go from here? That's a pretty important question to me. I'm a cattleman from here in California, fifth generation. My son's coming back in the business, the sixth generation. And what we're seeing is these, these questions about how do you do that? what technologies are out there, which ones can we use, which ones make sense, fast or slow, uh, how do we build our cow herd, what technologies might be used. So we heard different perspectives on that from people from you know, Minnesota to Nebraska to Colorado to California and all these different environments we deal with. So a uh, great moderator, Dr. Field, talked to us and asked us some questions about, you know, are we going the way of the sheep business? You know, we saw them go through some challenges. You know, they got a critical mass of numbers and they weren't able to move. Well, I think our panel was pretty consistent. We're still optimistic. We've got a great product. People like our product. We do have some challenges with numbers now. Part of those are weather related or driven by drought. Part of those are just this, this huge change we saw in equity when we saw a market crash here just roughly three or four months ago. And it's, it's really changed our dynamics. I think most of us think that there are opportunities to use technology, carefully take advantage of genet genetics, we can build and make this optimistic again. Hey, one more question before we let you go. I think what's really neat about these Zoetis Cattlemen's College sessions like this live demonstration here in San Diego, the opportunity for the audience to right. interact and ask the question that's on their mind. You bet. Tough audience. Lots of good ranchers. Ask some really good questions. I mean, these are astute people who've been in this business for generations. And, and I think they challenged all of us to think about, you know, how they are in their particular environment. And what we learned about ranchers in particular and cattlemen is they come from different perspectives. And I think we all know that as members of NCBA. But it's really critical that we come together and focus on what we can do positively. And I think Zoetis has done a really nice job of helping us with the kickoff program. All right, some very good advice and, an, and a great topic you guys covered this year. Thank you for joining us on Cattlemen to Cattlemen today. Thank you very much. All right, again, Dave Daly, a cattleman from right here in California. And by the way, for those cattlemen and cattlewomen who couldn't join us here at this year's annual convention and trade show in San Diego, all the different topics, including the video from this live demonstration, will be available after the convention. Really easy. Just visit BeefUSA.org. With that, Kevin, we'll go ahead and send it back to you.